the first time I put on a beat, he got on the mic and said, hi, my name is Excellent Shady. <laughs> Then came the backlash. Look at him, Dre. This guy has blue eyes. You can't sign him. There was a massive amount of resistance from my own team and people around me that didn't want me to work with him simply because he was white. Didn't want me to sign him or anything like that. While everyone else around me had their doubts, I knew that his gifts were undeniable. That's right. Yeah. His raw, dark, humorous lyrics, coupled with an impeccable cadence, stood out from everything I had ever, had ever heard before. And he was hungry. Both of us were. We were two artists in do or die situations. He was desperate to find a way to feed his family, and I was searching for something that I can sink my teeth into creatively. Each of us were exactly what the other one needed, and I was willing to bet my entire career on that. Yeah. Facts. My rebuttal to those naysayers was something like this. He's going to be the best selling artist on our label. Little did I know, he was going to be one of the best selling artists of all time. Introduced himself to the world with the Slim Shady LP. He skyrocketed to the top of the charts and stayed there for 100 weeks, earning himself a Grammy for Best Rap Album, Best Rap Solo Performance. And can you believe, after promoting violence to little children, killing his daughter's mother, this guy still had more shit to get off his chest? <laughs> <laughs> and then his sophomore album comes out, right? Uh, the Marshall Mathers LP drops. <laughs> On that album alone, his alter ego Slim Shady tied me up in the basement. He had sex with his mother, killed his daughter's mother again. while proceeding to offend about every special interest group we have. <laughs> it clearly struck a chord and became one of the fastest selling albums in United States history. Yeah. 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 